Hey, what's going on, fam? This is the Don. Welcome back to Gone with the Windleys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, whether you're new or not. You know, Peggy usually does the intro, but I'm out here recording here at Dobbins Air Reserve Base near Atlanta, Georgia. Now, this is a stopover, a single night stopover on our way to Savannah. We're heading back to Savannah to take care of some business. And um, this place reminded me of a song. And now I don't know how many of y'all old enough to remember William Devon singing that, singing that song. Though you may not drive a great big Cadillac, gangster white walls, TV antennas in the back, you may not have a car at all. But remember, brothers and sisters, you can still stand tall. Just be thankful <laughs> for what you got. And that's exactly what we got to keep in mind today because we just got to be thankful for what we got. This is a spot that is uh, quite limited. Um, first of all, we have a 50 amp RV and it only accepts 30 amps on the little power outlet. So we had to go get a 30 to 50 amp adapter. I thought I had one, couldn't find it. So we, we drove, luckily there was a camping world about 17 minutes away. We went and got a 30 to 50 amp power adapter. Um, there's no connection for uh, sewage. Don't need it, we only have for one night. I can do a dump before we leave and then we're good to go. So no big deal there. Um, the pad size, <laughs> now that's the funny part. I'm gonna try to show you an image here, but we had to squeeze in to an exact point to where our slides can open without hitting the trees. And a matter of fact, we had to put one of the trees in between the two slides in order to open the slides all the way. That was some expert backing in by your boy. But the pad is also too short for us to put all the stabilizer legs down. Now, fortunately, we have three-point hydraulics and four-point stabilizers. So we got three of the hydraulics down and two of the stabilizers down. And the back stabilizer is just dangling off the back. But <laughs> we're thankful. You know why we're thankful? Because we still got power and we still got water and we still got each other. So we got a place to sleep tonight and I feel comfortable and I feel safe. So... That's all, that's, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. It's a like single night, but we're not, I wouldn't necessarily say we're roughing it. It's not dry camping, but it's pretty close. So uh, we just got here about two this afternoon from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Had a great time. You've probably already seen the videos on that one. But uh, Dobbins Air Base, the base itself looks really nice. Lots of parks and stuff. And um, I might get out and walk around with DJ let Pig catch up on the TV shows on the inside of the RV and just give you guys a little look around. Uh, there's actually one, there's a few spots over here that has fifth wheels and class A's on them. So if you do have a larger spot and, you, and you're able to get on one of these bases, uh, make sure you let them know the size of your RV before you try to make your reservation because uh, I told them 35 feet and they gave me a 35 foot spot. And that's so, hey, I asked for it and that's what I got. But uh, yeah, I would not suggest it for most for most vehicles, for most uh, larger RVs. I would not suggest this as a spot to relax in. Maybe it's an overnight stay or something. Especially if you got a lot of slides. You got slides on both sides. Now a lot of campers have no slides. They probably have no problem here. But if you got slides on both sides like we do, uh, yeah, oh, the steps. Oh, I didn't even mention the stairs. I had to move forward about four inches so I can get the stairs down because there's a tree on the, on, on the other side. And so that's, that's it right here. But uh, we got it in, we got it set up, and it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and we're just going to be leaving out in the morning, heading to Savannah. Looking forward to it, fam.
going on, fam? So maybe I judged this place a little too quickly. It is nice and beautiful out here. So the RV spots could really use some updating, but the area is fantastic. You can come out here and get some fishing in, get a picnic in, a little playground, just a nice little pool to walk by the water, nice clean air. It's just, this is nice. It feels so naturey. And it's located directly next to the uh, ITT office. That's information, tickets, and tours. You can get like discounted Disney tickets and stuff like that. And they got the bathroom and shower combination thing, which is also the shelter in place. So it has everything you really need for an RV spot for a few days. So I really wish they would update the spots because this would be a fantastic, a fantastic RV spot. If they just added about... 10 feet of length and 5 feet of width and just cleaned up the area. That was, that's all it would take. I don't know how much that would cost, but I wish somebody at Dobbins would see this video because this is a nice place. This is nice. Good morning, family. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Peggy. If you're new, Don Juan is back there getting things prepared. Okay, so our schedule went like this. We were at Pigeon Forge in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Margaritaville. We stayed there for five days, right? And then Sunday, we left Pigeon Forge. I'm trying to get this right, y'all. And we stayed at Dobbins Air Force Base. It's right outside of Atlanta, maybe 10, 15 minutes outside of Atlanta. So we only got to stay there a day. And so yesterday we arrived in Savannah, Georgia, and we're staying at our very first state park. It's called Skidaway Island, right? But anyway, I'm standing here because I want to show you these beautiful cabins, and I hope these people don't feel like I'm being creepy or nothing, but I just, I'm going to walk by and show it to you all right so they have i've seen several of these cabin homes right here and they look really really nice right so you can rent those right so you can rent those this place, I was very shocked at how nice it was, right? We lived in Savannah for years and never knew Skidaway Island was here. But anyway, if you want to hear nature, this is the place. Like, this place is so relaxing and calming. And I like the way that they have the spots separated so you don't really get to see your neighbor at all, right? So, I'm just going to show you the distance between us and our neighbor. Right, so there's our neighbor, and then we are down this way. Now, you will see a lot of people walking and you know, exercising and spending time with their little fur babies. Donald is uh, getting ready to hook up the RV so that we could head on out. This is our spot. Now, as you can see, the spots are really wide. Right? And they, um, you get a picnic table. 
And you get a fire pit. Yep. We did not have a chance to sit out and enjoy, but I would have loved to. So, I mean, I want to show y'all this fire pit, but if you seen one, you seen them all. So there's the fire pit. It's nice and relaxing. This is your view. Well, this was our view. Yeah. Y'all see that stuff hanging out the trees? Donna and I took a, oh, we took a tour of Savannah and they gave us the history of these little hanging things from the tree but if you're in Savannah you will see these little hanging things and I remember her saying they're pretty and I know a lot of people like to decorate their homes you know with like uh, foliage and stuff like that she was like but don't pick that up because it'll be full of bugs right so yeah. So anyway, uh, we are in spot 43 and it's kind of tricky to get back here, right? It's kind of tricky to get back here, but we figured it out after going down a couple wrong one-way streets and stuff like that. But uh, the trip, I would give, I would give this place a seven out of ten. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Sure would. 7 out of 10. And so this is our neighbor on the other side. And I want to show you more of these cabins that they have to rent. I don't know what the price is. If I could ever figure out what they charge, I will definitely give you guys a number. But I think these cabin homes are so pretty. So, I don't know how many they have, and I think this is wheelchair accessible because you can see how they have that ramp right there. But, yeah. Very peaceful. All you can hear out here is the, uh, the birds. And the crickets. Grasshoppers. And this was our spot number. So, when you check in, they give you this little thing, and you're supposed to clip it on. And I'm not going to take it off because y'all can't see it. But it's got a bunch of spider webs right there. You want to say good morning to the fam, player? Hey, good morning to the fam. While I got y'all on camera, I want to admit to Peggy why the propane didn't work last night. I've got to turn it back on. You would think after you get married, you don't have to take a cold shower. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. That's pretty good, babe. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know I do what I can do when I can do it. <laughs> you want to say hey, poo poo? Come say hi to the fan. Hey, DJ. Come on, DJ. DJ be in his bed, don't even care. Like he know. I'm sorry about it being so dark because it's super early right now. Yeah. It's like seven fifteen. Yeah. And so we are going to one of my favorite places today. So you have to stay <laughs> tuned to the next video. <laughs> and your girl is gonna be in heaven, but. Y'all know where we are, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. What, what we let in? Did you see that thing? Bye -bye. Yeah, it was a net. A, mo a moth or a net? Okay, see, I, I'm not afraid of, mo of moths because they, you know, they don't bite or nothing like no. that. No. But, yeah, so last night it was so dark. Like, when you come outside, oh, you cannot yeah. see your hand in front of your face. Like, that's how dark it was. And I was like, I don't know if I want to turn the light on on the truck. I mean, on the RV because it would make everything. It would come make over. everything come to you exactly. Yeah, and so that's why I'm. I mean, I don't know. Some people um, down the street from us had theirs on bright and stuff like that, but yeah. And so we came to Savannah. We made sure to stop through Savannah because it for a purpose right y'all yeah. know i was coming here to get all of my machines and stuff like that because once we got our base i cleaned out the whole rv so there's hardly anything in there so i can get all of my machines in there and stuff like that how about we get to the rv storage place now they're supposed to be closed for lunch from one to two 
we get there at 2.30, closed. And of course, the people who are in there won't let you in, right? Because I wouldn't let anybody in either because they don't know what your purpose is. Like, we didn't have the punch code to get in. So we kept calling and calling and calling and calling. And it got to be about five o'clock. We sat there for about an hour or two. Yeah. I was like, maybe they had to pick their kid up or maybe they had an emergency. There was no note on the door. It was two cars sitting there. We were knocking on the door, but the place was shut down. And we stayed there to about 530 yeah. trying to get our stuff. And we finally talked to one of the guys that was inside, you know, getting cleaning out his storage or rearranging his storage, I would say. And. He was just like, well, they should have gave you a code. Of course they should have, but yeah. the stuff has been in here for about a year and a half now. <laughs> so, of course, we don't have the code. I don't have the code. But I'm like, even if you're closed, answer the phone so we can get our stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. I left so many messages, and I was trying to, like, make sure I don't leave anything to sound angry or anything, but. We're going to get this figured out. We just gonna, yeah, we just going to have to come we back. We're going to swing back through without the RV and just grab as much as we can. And then. Yeah, that that's just something we have to do because I have to get my stuff and we need to close out the storage. So we're going to have to double back, which I didn't want to do because we've been on the go so much. Yes. Like we've been traveling since. It, it, it's just been a lot. It's hard when you get up every morning at seven. All you have time to do is come home, relax. You know, yeah. and then up the next day. It's it's hard when you do that, you know, days at a time. So uh, now that we're going to one of my favorite places, we can relax for about seven days. Yes. And we're going to just take it all in and we're going to just show you. We're going to try to show you what we do when we can't. We don't do much, but we'll show you how we sit out <laughs> and just enjoy the day. Listen, guys. When we got to Dobbins Air Force Base, yes, it is so funny. We have a family member. Uh, I'm going to just say your name. Yeah. Bracey. Bracey and Gary. Bracey and Gary. Bracey and Gary were there. And I was walking DJ and came inside. And all of a sudden, I heard this high-pitched voice behind me. Donald? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I turned around and said, yes. And she said, I told him that was you. <laughs> But as soon as I saw you put DJ on the ground, I knew that was you. Hey, it's us. From all the way from Arizona. They told us they had a little uh van, little van life RV. And yeah. they got a pretty nice one too. And it just so happened they were at the small, tiny little RV park on the same day at the same time as right us. next door. And I'm gonna tell you about but we love them. Yes. We absolutely love them. I'm trying to convince them to start a channel. Sorry, Brissy, I'm putting all your business yeah. out here. But it was just so good to like she welcomed us to Arizona the very first time we yes. got there. She was like, I don't mean to knock on your door. Yeah. But, and I was like, oh no. And I just love her. I love her energy. They yes. are just really good, good people, right? We love them. And it was so funny because when we parked, I was like, Donald, I need a drink or something because we had ran out when we were at Pigeon Forge. And so he went out to get us some drinks, right? Yeah. Because normally we would just stay inside the RV. And it's funny that they were having some issues too. And she was going to resolve the issue. So it was funny that at the same exact time, Donald was coming back. She was going out. Yeah. And they and that's when she say, I think that's Peggy and Don. I think that's Peggy and Don. And then when he got DJ out the truck from riding to the store, <laughs> yeah. she was like, I told you that was them. <laughs> yeah. And when I tell you, I ran and gave her the biggest hug. She I just, always had this big smile. She's so inviting. Oh my God. And she is she tell she shares so many stories and everything with us. It was just like meeting like really old friends. We only met like three times total. Yeah, but, but every time it's always good. Like I look. I, when I meet y'all, I'm telling you, I love when I meet family. Yeah. I really, really do because they are just the sweetest people. And I'm yeah. just like, it was so good to sit out and talk to them because I was having a stressful day and I was having some issues from the prior <laughs> camping trip I was on. And I was just like a little frustrated, right? Mm. But then Donald, uh, you know, and then talking to them, you know, it just, when you get good energy and good people, you could just breathe again. And I was like, I thank God. 
for them. I thank God for y'all. Really, I do. You, you guys keep us lifted up in prayer. Yeah. And, you know, you just, you don't know what y'all do for us. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting us in everything we do. I know uh, we haven't been putting out as many videos as we want, but we've been doing a lot of traveling. Oh my goodness. But we've been doing a lot of recording too. So we'll have a lot to share with you guys because we didn't stick to military bases so much no. on this trip. So I got my first state park in. Yeah. And then we stayed. Did we stay off post again? No, just on Margaritaville the was the only one. Oh, Margaritaville. Well, that was two. That's two. <laughs> that was two. <laughs> we stayed a couple of them. Yeah. So uh, I think we're going to. We're going to start checking out these state parks because yeah. the price point is pretty much the same as a military base, yeah. honestly. And you still get all the amenities that you need. And I'm, this place does have a bathhouse and all that. If we pass it on our way by, I will show it to you. I'm sorry that we didn't get a full view of the place. Yeah. But we, we've we just been in and out. And so today we have a four-hour drive. or four-hour four hour drive. We have a four-hour drive. And now we so can that's another relax. clue as to where we're going. So oh. We're, <laughs> so we're I'm in Savannah and we got a four-hour drive. <laughs> So it gives you a, if you, if you had some wonders or whatever where we might be going, that might help you out a little bit. Yep. So, <laughs> but listen, look, I was standing outside for a few minutes and I got my ear got bit up. Yeah, I got bit up like two or three times while I was connecting. That's why I was like, I was I was surprised you stayed outside as long as you did because usually you get bit more than I do. I they do. love your sweet blood and stuff, but like all behind my ears and behind my legs, I'm like, wait, yeah. why am I itching? I was like, I'm surprised you was outside as long as you were. Hey, it's it's part of camp life. You, you just got to get used to it. But anyway, fam, we are gonna go ahead and get started on this day. We're gonna get our morning prayer in, and um, I'm just I'm so excited about this. Even though we got this little hiccup and we have to double back, but all things will work out. There I'm, you go. I'm sure they will. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> but anyway, fam, we will talk to you in the next clip. Yep. See you at the next truck stop, probably. Yeah. All right, fam. Hey, what's going on, fam? So we are coming to you live with a Gone with the Windleys first. I know it's not live. <laughs> but this is, a, this is a Gone with the Windleys first. We are at a Cracker Barrel parking lot. Parked over here in one of these bus flash RV spots. I'm going to go in and get us a little breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why we had the opportunity to do this because I thought we had four hours to go. It's only two and a half hours away. So Hallelujah. Yeah. So <laughs> now we can take our time, stop off for groceries or whatever else we need to do and uh enjoy a nice, calm, relaxing breakfast. Yep. Let's go, fam. Let's go. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby, you can give me everything I want. Everything I want. Always dance and sing. You're captivating me. All I need is to know that I'm in your heart and never be apart. <laughs> hey, what's up, fam? So we inside. We just got seated, and we think we're gonna. What we normally do when we come in, we get our what? Grandma's pancake breakfast, and we just split it. It's not even on the menu. You just gotta know about it. So hey. You not really don't have a really big appetite or whatever. Get your grandma's pancake breakfast split in between the two of you. Got everything we need. We always add in the cons and the, the pancakes. <laughs> and we get you get an offer of either the uh, hash brown, the cheesy hash brown potatoes, or the apple Betty or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's a good breakfast. I hope the coffee's good. I haven't had good strong coffee since I left um, Margarita Bill. I'm, I'm, I'm hooked on coffee now. You hooked on the uh, an espresso. An espresso. <laughs> and we didn't bring the machine with us, so hopefully we can get some good coffee this morning. It's funny that when you record, 
people feel like you're recording them so they look at you really weird. <laughs> and I just want to say so bad, we're recording ourselves, we're not recording you, but everybody's looking like, why are they filming us? <laughs> it's, it's weird, but anyway, uh, we will come back when we have our food fam. All right, fam. Always dance and sing. You're captivating me. All I need is to know that I'm in your heart and never be apart. All I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby. I can give you everything you want. Everything you Hey fam, so we are about two or three miles just across the Florida border from Georgia, just inside of Florida, and we're stopping at the uh, Georgia Welcome Center. Thought it'd be a good time to stretch our legs. We only been on the road for like about an hour and a half, but good time to stretch our legs, get a bathroom break, get a soda, whatever else it is, and let DJ stretch around a little bit. And so I get in here, and look at the sign I see. Ain't that crazy? What kind of rest stop don't allow dogs and stuff? So, oh well. So, I'm gonna still let him stretch his leg over here. We can't go inside yet. I'll put him back in the truck before I have to go use the bathroom. Let Peggy use the bathroom first. But, uh, yeah, that's odd. Ah, it's a nice looking spot, but if you don't allow my little buddy, then you lose points. All right, fam. Hey, DJ. DJ. Come in. Come in. Come in. DJ. What you think of that sign? What you think about that sign, DJ? How you feel about it? It sucks, doesn't it? You hate that sign? Yeah, forget these people. Take me in your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around when I need Known it all. 